this video, we're going to cover a question regarding perfect competition. So number one reads, Jane's Garage Cleaning is a perfectly competitive firm that is currently producing 50 garages. Jane's marginal cost is 50, her price is 40, and her average total cost is 45. So whenever you go to these questions, try to think of the graph. So here's your graph for a perfectly competitive firm, and you'll need to know this for the exam for sure. So with a perfectly competitive firm, one key thing about the graph is that demand is equal to marginal revenue, and that the demand curve is a flat horizontal curve. So we still have marginal cost is somewhat increasing, and average total cost is this curve here. And average total cost can be greater than our demand curve or below our demand curve. So here they gave us that marginal cost was 50, average total cost is 45, and then our price is 40. So this is what we're given, and the question is asking us two things. Is Jane maximizing her profit, and is she incurring a loss, normal profit, or an economic profit? So to the answer to the first question, are you maximizing your profit? You have to figure out if she's producing at the best point. And where is that best point? It's where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. So we need to find out if these two things are equal to determine if she's maximizing her profit. She, give us, she gives us that marginal cost is 50, but she doesn't explicitly give us what the marginal revenue is. But what you know from the graph is that marginal revenue is equal to our price. And that's true for all perfectly competitive firms. So we know that price is marginal revenue as well. So if marginal revenue is 40, but marginal cost is 50, we're not producing at this point. Instead, we're somewhere or marginal cost is greater than marginal revenue. So this is more of where we're at. And we, we are producing 50 garages, so this is kind of where we're at. So we're definitely not maximizing our profit. Now, to answer the second part of the question, whether or not you're making a loss, normal profit, or an economic profit, you have to know three things. So. If price is equal to average, average total cost, ET, ATC, you're making a normal profit. If price is greater than ATC, you're making an economic profit. And if price is lower than ATC, you're making an economic loss. So here, if ATC is greater than your price, you're incurring more costs than you're earning. So that is an economic loss. If price is greater than ATC, then you're earning more than you're expensing with your costs. So that's an economic profit. If price is equal than your ATC, then you're making just enough to cover your costs. And that's a normal profit. Also a zero economic profit. So knowing this, and given what we have for our ATC and our price, we can find out if we're making a, any one of these situations. So. If price is 40 and our ATC is 45, then we're somewhere here. 45 is our ATC and price is still 40. So because our price is lower than our ATC, we have an economic loss. So the answer here is D. She's not maximizing her price because we're not producing at this point. And she's, she has an economic loss because her ATC is greater than our price. Now, this question could also ask for what is the area of the economic loss. And you can do that graphically. Where your quantity intersects, your average total cost curve is where your average total cost is. So we have our average total cost here. And where your quantity is at your demand curve is where your price is. So we have a price of 40. If we take this entire area of the rectangle and do base times height, so height here is 5, the difference between our ATC and our price, 45 and 40, minus, or rather times, 
our quantity of 50 for our base, that would be 250 as our economic loss. So you can do it graphically as well. So whenever you do these perfectly competitive questions, go back to the graph. Know that demand is a flat curve and it equals our price. And know how our marginal, co marginal cost curve is and know how we use our average total cost. And you definitely want to know the three different ways you can earn a profit or loss. And that's how you solve a perfectly competitive firm. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.